Tell me one thing, one thing in your life that is great that came as a result of being comfortable. Life is going to hit you with a certain level of opposition. Life is going to hit you with a certain level of adversity. And life is going to say to you, you said you wanted it. Now let's see how bad you really want it. But the great thing about it, if you love the process, when opposition and adversity hits, you will have a way of embracing it and using it, not only for yourself, but you will use it to make everybody that's connected to you stronger because your vision has to be larger than yourself. If everything that you do is just about you and for your personal gain, something's gonna come up against you that's gonna be a lot tougher than you. And if it's just about you, the moment you hit it, you're gonna quit and give up every time. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Because everywhere I look and everywhere I, I, I see in today's society, everybody's doing everything they can to be more comfortable, right? They're looking for the more convenience. They're looking for the quicker. They're looking for the faster. And see, there's opportunity in that for those of you that want to get better. Because I'm going to tell you right now, all the great things in my life, all the great things in other high achievers' lives, all the reasons that these successful people that you look up to that you aspire to be like are the way they are have all come from a place of being uncomfortable that's just a fact okay so understand that when you're trying to avoid the pain when you're trying to avoid the struggle when you're trying to avoid the hard things in life you are actively choosing to be average you are actively choosing to be mediocre and you are actively choosing to move further away from what you want in life because that hardship and that pain and that struggle and that frustration they give you the skills that will forge you into a mother champion all right so remember that shit when you try to take the easy route the easy route never pays well the only route in life that pays well is the hard route, the struggle, the pain, the frustration, and the overcoming of those things. And not only do they pay, they fulfill you as well. Because it shows the people around you. It shows your kids, it shows your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your community, what is possible. And there's nobility in that. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. Because the thing I know about people, people can talk to talk. And people do it very well. You're gonna have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I got to go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't going to die at the end of pain and success. You're not going to die because you're feeling a little pain. The problem is you ain't never felt no pain before. You're soft. It's a soft generation. You quit on everything. When you're working on a dream, at some point in time, a transition takes place. And the transition is, is what you are becoming in pursuit of the dream. Because even if you don't get the dream, 
You become such a strong and powerful person. It will so change your life. You can look at something else and say, well, I think I'll go do this then. Because you have now developed yourself in such confidence and such competence in how to deal in the arena of life that you can move into another area and not miss a beat. Once you begin to discover who you are, then you really realize how you have been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth, including all the dimensions of your life. But you can only do that through the struggle of life. And most people avoid the struggle. Most people go through life avoiding pain. And when you go through life like that, something in you dies. Something in you that you never activate is lying dormant in there, that you never get a chance to call on because you have not challenged yourself. You must be patient, persistent, and positive no matter what. Work your dream until it get hot. Most things don't happen as soon as we think they should happen. Don't allow other things or people or circumstances to determine what your reaction is going to be. On this day, you can declare that I'm going to change. As you look back on your life, you can decide that I don't like what I produced here and I want higher ground. I want to begin to experience more love. I want to have more adventure in my life. I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. There's always someone who's dealing with something more hurtful than you, deeper than you, in a situation that's worse than yours. But we only feel our pain, our hurt. We all are dealing with something different every single day. And you feel your pain is worse than someone else's pain because it's real to you in your life. But there's something I want to tell you today. I don't know why you lost your job. I don't know why your child died. I don't know why you lost your home. I don't know why your marriage failed. I don't know why you lost everything. But what I can tell you is that if you don't give up, if you keep fighting, if you keep pressing, if you keep stepping one foot in front of the other, no matter what it takes, no matter how hard it hurts right now, you press through, you keep running, you keep getting up, you get knocked down, get up again. This thing that we call life, is not easy. Every single day can be hard, but it's all in your mindset. You can look at it as being hard or you can look at it as being a challenge. Any challenge you can overcome, but anything that you look at as failure can keep you down. There's no way to be successful. Most people who make it will tell you, I had those bad days. I had those ups and downs, the hills and valleys that I had to go through. And that's the only way you're going to make it. So I don't know and I don't care what you're going through right now. Because that's exactly what it is. You're just going through it right now. But you're going to get over it. You're going to overcome it. You're going to be stronger after this. So don't just focus on what you're dealing with or going through right now. Because this moment. This obstacle is going to push you. It's going to raise you to another level that you've never seen yourself at before. And once you get there, you'll be able to tell the next person what you went through, what you had to go through. But you survived. You came out better the other side. Whenever you're down, there's always a way up. But you have to see it. You have to know you can accomplish any and everything that's put in front of you.